Hi, everybody. Just giving us a chance for everybody to get on here quickly. Uh, tonight is um, Tuesday, and I um, want to give a chance for everybody to jump on here. And we're going to get started with a message of truth, of hope, of joy, of love, which is so uh, needed in our world today. Getting all the devices started up here. And waiting for everybody to jump on board and get my, get it popped out here on Facebook so I can see and answer all of your messages here. If you'll give me just a moment. For those of you watching the recording, I will get this running here very quickly. Here we go. Okay. So it's good to uh, see all of you tonight here. And um, like I said, I'm giving a chance for everybody to jump on here. I see Bernard. Hi, Bernard. Good to see you. Natasha, good to see you. All right. So how did everybody's Thanksgiving holiday go? Did you have a wonderful time with your family? Did you get to connect with friends? Maybe family, I think is what they're calling it, or a friendship Thanksgiving. Um, I did I, I take a trip to see uh, some of my family and enjoyed it. I did a little video from there very quickly and um, back in the saddle again and getting things cranking up. And today I talked to um, God's spirit or source and I said, can you tell me what it is that the people need to know right now? What do they need to know November 30th, 2021, getting ready to turn into January, or, or sorry, January, <laughs> look, I'm already there getting ready to turn into December and to end 2021. And I thought about sharing a message on how to use this time to create a beautiful new reality for yourself next year. And um, then in meditation and then talking to God, he said, no, I have a different message for you to share. So my name is Deanna Gloyd and I am the founder of toolsofenergyprotection.com and also the Spiritual Awakening Academy, which is the learning division or the training division of toolsofenergyprotection.com. And our mission is raising the frequency of the planet, one empath, one intuitive, one star seed at a time. So tonight I'm going to be talking about um, how to have hope, and joy and love during these times. There's so many people that are uh, in crisis and people that are afraid because of what they see going on in the news and the world seems to be just a really super scary place right now. But I'd like for you to know that there is hope, there is joy, and there is love in this world. And so I'm going to share with you how that is. How does it look? How do I know? And the first thing that I'm going to share with you is hope. And some of the things I'm going to talk about might seem a little strange because they're going to sound Star Wars E, Star Trek E. <laughs> but they're things that have been in the consciousness for a very long time. And people like Steven Spielberg brought them through in their movies to share with all of us. And we resonated with it. A lot of us felt uh, drawn to uh, maybe like Avatar. And the reason for that is because there's a lot of truth in what they're presenting in the movies. And so many people resonated with it that it made millions and millions of dollars. And that's how you know, that's how people cast their vote is through money. So I'm going to cover a few concepts tonight that might, again, look a little Star Wars-y, and I'm gonna talk in those terms because it's easier for people to understand what's happening. It's easier for people to relate to something that's a little bit more familiar. So I'm going to talk first about hope. So our, our subject tonight is hope, joy, and love, and how to know that it really exists and it's tangible and it's there for you right now, no matter what you see in front of you, no matter what the world scene looks like. 
no matter where you are in your life. And whether you've been as sensitive and aware and awake for a long, long, long time, or whether you're just waking up, this message is for you. So if you find it to be of value and you have friends that are just like you, share the video. I will be posting this one on YouTube as well as my website, toolsofenergyprotection.com so that it's accessible to people that aren't maybe on Facebook. All right, so I'm going to share my screen and we're gonna have a look at what hope looks like. So take me just a second here to share the screen. All right, so for those of you that are watching, um, I'm gonna disappear and go up to the upper part of the screen. And then you're going to see what's called Schumann's Resonance. For those of you that have been with me for a while, you know I've talked about this in the years past. Schumann's Resonance is a frequency, a tune or a tone measurement. Uh, if you look up heartbeat of the earth. So our earth has its own, if you will, heartbeat, its own rhythm. And within that rhythm comes different frequencies. And those frequencies have an effect on our bodies, our human bodies, our human minds, which affect emotions and which affect our soul because we all have one on this planet. So Schumann's resonance is the measurement device, the scientific device. And I'm going to make the picture a little bit bigger and as you look on the left-hand side, you will see a zero or a 0, 0.0, that's Hertz measurement, which means no sound. Then it goes up to four and anything below four is very, very slight. You can't really hear it. Four, you begin to be able to hear it, although you have to wear headphones and so on. And it goes, the, the resonances go up. So here at the top, you're going to notice it says, 1 12 2021 and what that is actually they've got that they've got that dated a little bit differently here just a moment um oh, there it is okay so it's december 1st 2021 so they haven't measured that yet but they're finishing measuring up november the 30th and that's what this line is over here where the black where it is you can't you know see anything and so um, what you're looking at is the frequencies. So any time that you see the green, that means there's an emission of frequency that the measuring device is picking up. If you think about an earthquake and the little counter that picks up the earthquake. So I'd like for you to take a look at the very top of it. We have not seen that kind of activity uh, up to about a year ago. So before this area was blank, so you would see maybe something at the four and nothing above that. And now you're seeing lots and lots and lots of activity. This first started coming in when I was teaching um, a class and one of my students pointed it out. And he said, hey, look, there's little bits of green right here. And I said, hey, isn't that interesting? And I found out that these were a very low frequency. Dogs could probably hear them but they, I'm gonna say that they don't um, when they're really low because that would be, you know, the dog will be hearing it all the time. But these frequencies are very, very low and they're in the four Hertz range. And if you go over to YouTube and later, um, I'm actually, when I post, excuse me, I post to toolsofenergyprotection.com and I put up the blog for today, I will put a link to the four Hertz on the uh, on the page so you can go and listen to it but you will have to put headphones on and you will be able to hear this vibration that is very very low and you say to me Diana what does that have to do with hope all right if you go and do research on Hertz and the sound waves there's different sound waves that will affect the human brain differently this is a vibration that affects the human brain. If you listen to a lot of loud music or rock and roll music, 
and you're listening it with the woofers and all that other stuff, you feel that beat on your head. And that's different than just having headphones in, or so I've been told. So that vibration, sometimes people feel it in their hearts or their bodies. But the mind is an electrical beauty, electrical wonder. And it, it works with all kinds of synapses and gives us information. And there's so much to be learned about the human mind. But what does happen is that it does feel these pulses of the hertz. The ears hear it, although it may not register in the mind. And what that does is it alters how your mind is perceiving and what it's processing. Again, the frequency that's coming into the brain will alter how you think and what parts of the brain are functional. And I can hear you saying to me, Deanna, what does that have to do with hope? <laughs> Here it is. So there is a word called mana, M-A-N-A, -A, mana. And if you go look it up, what you're going to find is between a lot of the different cultures, I know Native American was one, I think there was a Polynesian one, but they talk about mana. And they talk about how that that is the life of bread from God's spirit or source to the people. And what it actually is, is a vibrational frequency that is freely available to anyone on this planet and everyone. And it affects every living, breathing human being on this planet, whether they recognize it or whether they don't. It affects their brain. If they know what it is, if they choose to tune into it, it becomes mana or bread from heaven. Honestly, bread from heaven, the heavens. Because it is a frequency that people use to meditate, to still the monkey mind, right? And to draw closer to the divine, to God's spirit or source, to infinite love feelings, a euphoria. Now, when I meditate and focus on this vibration, do I always feel euphoric? No. But I generally feel restored. I get more energy, more ideas than I ever do when I'm not really focused on it. When I allow my mind to be crazy, monkey crazy, you know, uh, the, the monkey mind everywhere, you know, the ADHD kind of syndrome. But when you still the mind, and focus on this four hertz, which you can do, um, you can just go Google it, um, find it on YouTube and go listen to it. You're going to find that you feel more at peace, that your mind is stimulated more towards mathematics and sacred numbers. And you will know that you are being fed your soul and your physical mind is being fed, if you will, from the bread or manna from heaven. Bread in the Old Testament was a sustainer. It was life. It was how people got by. And this bread from heaven, this vibrational frequency brings peace to the mind when you focus on it. For everybody that's in fear, the fear vibration cancels this out. Breathe that in. The fear brain looks like this, and it is not still, and nothing can come in because it's going too fast. It's creating too much of a dissonance, a cognitive dissonance. It's like this, and you can't very well shoot anything in there. But when the mind stills and you take the monkey mind out from all over the place, and you can do this, you can do it by stopping drinking caffeine, you can increase your water intake, you can hum, you can focus on an object and bring your brain back around to that single object or a single thought or a single word, you can do it. And when you do, whether you hear it audibly or not, 
you're keeping this and you're making it still. So now the stillness of the brain, the electric in the brain, can come at one with the heartbeat of the earth, the four hertz that as you can see on this chart is readily available. It's free. This is just a measurement of what is there. If that makes sense to you, please give me a thumbs up, a smiley face to let me know, even if you're watching the recording later, to let me know that you understand what's happening, that you understand what I'm talking about, that it makes sense to you. And I was looking, I'm trying to see if I have any comments here. There they are. So please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're understanding and connecting with this information of hope. And like I said, if you're watching the recording later, if you give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. So if you have any questions, please put them down in the feed. If you're watching on YouTube, I usually check my YouTube channel about once a week and I'll respond to your questions there. Or you can go to toolsofenergyprotection.com and click on about. Uh, there's some information down there on how to reach out to me and get a hold of me. So what I'm saying is that this energy is freely available. It is freely out there. All you have to do is tune into it. That's it. There is nothing that you have to do besides tuning into it. Still your mind. Make sense? Somebody says there's no sound and it's a bad connection. If you are able to hear me, can you give me a thumbs up please and just let me know that you can hear me. This is such an important message to share. So if you can hear me, please give me a thumbs up. Okay, great, thank you. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Okay, good. So what I'm telling you is that right now, by universal design from the creator source of all, these four Hertz frequencies that are calming, that can help you to connect to God's spirit or source that bring you into more of the mathematical equation, you know, type mind of connecting with sacred numbers is being put out there by the creator source of all, look at this, look at this screen. If you look right down here on the left-hand side, this is November 29th, okay? On the left-hand side, you can see there's so much of it coming out and then there's a break and there's more and there's a break and there's more and it's out there. And all you have to do is tune into it and you will feel more peaceful. Here's some things that other clients have noticed that contacted me this week last couple of days, especially, they said, you know, last week or the week before last, you talked about uh, there being more peace when the eclipse came um, with straightening out things, with speaking my truth, with people listening to me, there being a tilt uh, towards my life being better and straightening out. And even today, I spoke with a woman who has had challenges in her business and dealing with difficult situations. And she noticed that the situations, although still difficult, just like they had been before, she was better able to deal with them, resolve them more quickly and have good self-love at the same time. So that's the part about hope. And I am going to trust that since there seems to be no questions, that you all understand what I am saying. If you need help with this and you feel drawn 
the Spiritual Awakening Academy will begin December 1st. And when I say begin, I will be sending out an email welcoming you, telling you what supplies you need, um, giving you a link to uh, the Facebook group. And I believe I'm going to do Telegram because a number of people aren't on Facebook. Then on that Sunday, you will receive the first lesson. And what we're going to do in this academy is provide a space for people to understand things just like what I'm talking about tonight. Give them tools on how to work with it and bring it into their lives. So tonight I'm making you aware that it exists and it's there. But, and a little bit on how to tune into it. But what do you do with it after that? That's what we talk about in the academy because it is paramount that right now, every starseed, every empath, every highly sensitive person be trained. It will help balance out this world and get it out of the negative spiral it's currently in and bring it back positive just by you adjusting the light within you, understanding that you are part of God's spirit or source and that you are loved and that you are part of the creative whole. Yes, you are. You're part of the creative whole. And even if you're isolated, not going to an office, staying at home, working on the computer, whatever it is you're doing, you are still part of the collective whole. And God's spirit or source is feeding you manna from the heavens. If you only know how to eat it, digest it, and utilize it for your own peace within. It doesn't matter your religious background. I've had many people contact me and say, well, will this be good with my religion? This is not about religion, ladies and gentlemen. You can hold on to, participate, or believe in whatever religion that you like. This is about your connection with your divine nature, with God's spirit or source. That's what this is about. And right now, there's a battle going on on this planet, a battle for control, for control of your mind, to control how you feel, to sway you, to get you to do things you otherwise wouldn't. That's what's going on. So much fear. And where people have fear, they will do anything they can to get out of it, to feel safe, to feel secure, to help their families. Fear is a great motivator, but love is a, a better motivator because love encompasses you, fills you up, and allows you to be a beautiful divine being in the midst of troubled waters. Breathe that in. Now, the next thing I would like to talk about is having joy in your life. So many sensitives were born to parents that were sociopathic or narcissistic or abusive. And they have big holes in their hearts and they don't know what to do, and they're already off kilter, and now the world scene. I would like to bring you some joy now, because there is a secret greater than anything you could ever imagine. And that secret is shared in the writings of the canonized version of the Bible. And I'm going to stop the share for a moment. There we go. And I'm going to bring up another section to share with you. Because if you know the truth, it will literally set you free. So that's what I'm doing. 
I'm sharing you what I know to be true. And I ask you to take notes, study it, prove it to yourself. Because if you don't believe in your heart and your mind, then you don't believe. And you will not make any progress towards joy. And this time of year, you know, it's the dark time of the year because, um, you know, it, it's the winter season. And so there's more dark than there is light as far as the way the earth rotates. And that's why we put up lights and, you know, Christmas trees and all that. Because we're looking for a time of joy and love and peace. Easier to get when there's more sunshine. <laughs> so I'm going to again share my screen. And I'm going to share with you joy. Because joy, pure joy, comes from within. It is a feeling that comes from God's spirit or source into our hearts and our minds when our minds are not blocking with other thoughts. And it's a feeling of being at one with things that are harmonious, that don't include fear. But joy in the 3D world sometimes is not long lasting. So we're afraid to grab onto it or experience it. And what I'm sharing with you tonight is that when you take this manna, still your brain, inner peace will come and you will find joy. You will find that things that are joyful are attracted to you more and you're attracted to them and it will build and build and build and you will experience more things. So on the screen, because it is my background, I'm going to share with you something that makes sense to me. This was written by a man who had found his joy and connection with God's spirit or source and had begun creating physical abundance in his life along with joy. And he wrote songs, literal songs, which I don't happen to have the music for but we still have the words. So here it says in Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. When you are wanting for something, when you have a lack of money, a lack of food, a lack of a loving relationship, you usually are wanting. And when you want, you focus on that want. If I haven't eaten in a couple of days, my mind is focused on how do I get food? Because my stomach is telling me it's hungry and my body is weak. So all I think about is want food, want food, want food, want food. I am not in a position of joy. If you allow yourself to be in that joyful position, in the happier, higher vibrational position, then you will have joy. That's why it says the Lord, God's spirit or source, a shepherd gives things to its sheep. It makes sure it's protected. It doesn't allow them to wander off because they are encircled in caring. Now, does that mean bad things won't happen in your life? No. Things happen. We learn lessons. But the majority of our life, our heart center would still be joyful, knowing that we are being cared and loved and not wanting. That joy also says that he restores my soul. So to be restored, that means the soul has to have been weakened. 
in a condition where it is vulnerable to demon spirit, lower vibrational attack, depression, anxiety, fear. But it says the soul is restored. And one of the ways I showed you earlier, because the frequencies are giving you a spiritual food, which also affects the human mind. So it's mental, emotional food. But you have to partake in it. Okay. Yet, uh, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That is something we cover in the academy. And we talk about these things and what they mean to your current life now. Because these words were true then and they're true now. Written by a man who had lots of abundance, lots of money, lots of things. And he knew what the frequency, the vibration was that had to be attained and man maintained in order to enjoy a full, rich, beautiful life. Now, am I saying to you, if you join the Academy, you're going to be rich and you can manifest anything? No. What I'm telling you is that if you are highly sensitive empath or star seed, and you know about how to connect to these things that are freely available, then you will live a different life, one filled with more joy. Do I see the terrible things happening in the world? Yes. Did I see across the news today, people killed needlessly? Yes. Did I see the news stories about parents who lost their children and are heartbroken? Yes. Am I sad? Yes but I have joy in my heart because I know that there are greater things for me and for these people as well. There are greater things, a loss of a loved one, a loss of a child, a loss of a parent is horrible. And the human mind and heart will grieve and that is normal and that is not joyful. Please do not misunderstand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you focus on only those kinds of things that they're putting out in the news or on social media or whatever have you, and you focus on all these terrible things that are happening and it makes you just recoil and feel smaller and smaller and more in fear, then you're not in balance and your joy is not bright. So every person that touches my heart, every person that has a tragedy that I see on the news or I hear about, when I am praying at night, I ask their burden to be lightened. I ask for every person who can support them during their grieving time to be there for them. I ask for an angel of comfort to be with them because it's an awful thing to experience as a human being. What I'm also saying is that you don't have to allow that to drag you down to a position where you're so drained, you look like a prune. Because as a sensitive, highly a sensitive person, empath, star seed, you are the light of the world, you are the salt. But if you're depleted, you cannot send this energy out to other people. You cannot help to heal the wounds or send the love or whatever it is you can contribute. We all have different gifts. If that makes sense, would someone please put a thumbs up for me and let me know that this is a message that is resonating with you. I feel like there's 12 of you watching that understand this and it really resonates. And again, if you know somebody that this would resonate with, please share the video. 
I will put it on my website, toolsofenergyprotection.com. I will put it on my YouTube channel. You can just type my name in there or go over to my webpage and click on about and you'll get a link. But what I'm saying is that all of us light workers are seeing so much tragedy, so many fearful things, and you must not fear. You must have the solidity inside knowing that God, spirit source has a divine plan that we are all part of and that your light must shine brighter than ever now. Brighter than ever. And if you have a spiritual practice, engage in it. If you're learning Reiki, if you're learning to read Akashic records, if you're learning uh, massage therapy or acupressure, or acupuncture, whatever it is you're learning, therapy, uh, psychologists, therapists, counselors, spiritual mentors, um, ministers, please keep going. Don't give up hope. There is magic coming. There is magic here and now. And my definition of magic is when the energy can be utilized for good. You know how to harness the energy, gather the energy, shift the energy, push the energy. It's free energy and it's available to us all. If we only access it and utilize it. And we can use it to lift ourselves up and help others. And before I get to the love bit of what I would like to talk about tonight, I'd like for you to know that if you ever get trained to be a lifeguard in a pool or the ocean, a lifeguard has to be a strong swimmer. And if somebody is drowning, they are trained to take out a long tube, a long red tube or a circle a circle, I'm sure you've seen them. They're trained to swim out towards the drowning person, but to keep a safe distance between them and that person. And then they push the flotation device to the person who is drowning. And if you've ever seen a person who is drowning, they are slapping at that water and they are gasping for air and they're grabbing onto anything they can. And if you're close enough, that'll be you and you'll both go down and no one will be saved. But the lifeguard who has been trained knows how to push that flotation device out and that person will grab on and then they'll start trying to climb towards the lifeguard. And the lifeguard knows at that moment that there only is a string between them and the flotation device and they begin to swim back to shore, pulling it along behind them. And there's a safe distance between the person who is being rescued and the lifeguard as they swim back. So must a sensitive be in today's world. So much a star seed an empath or a highly sensitive person must be. You must be trained. You must know what to take with you to push out to other people, sensitives usually, who are drowning and grasping at anything they can to get out of fear. You must know what to send them and when it is time to pull them back to shore so they can regain their composure and grow. That's why I'm inviting you to join me in the Spiritual Awakening Academy. And we'll teach you all of those things. And as you learn them, you will grow and become stronger. And you will become the lifeguard. And whether you choose to go public and teach like I do, or whether you just hold a class at home with friends, or whether you just do it for yourself and for the world and nobody else really knows, you're still one more for the light. And we need more of you to wake up. 
you've been sleeping far too long. And with that last partial eclipse we had, it was another wake up call. And you may have noticed that the nine to five gig you've been living or the world that you're living in seems really strange and not familiar, or it seems distant and like you're not sure why you're even here. It's a weird kind of thing when you wake up because it's like the Matrix movie with Keanu Reeves. They unplugged the back of him and he went into a whole new world. But there is a sequence before that where he wakes up a process and he becomes more aware and meets with different people along the way. If it, your desire to wake up, to be trained, you may have had some training already, you don't know which way to turn, then come and let me teach you. I am not a savior. I am not here to save you. I'm here to give you back your own power and to remind you of things that you've forgotten and give you tools of energy protection so that you can be more full of joy and love and hope. You probably feel like you have a mission. You feel restless and you're not sure what it is. The Academy officially starts December 1st and the first video will go out that Sunday. However, if you're seeing this video later and you're interested, reach out to me. It's never too late to learn. I'll also be teaching how to read the Akashic Records during that academy, as well as how to balance out energy, sometimes known as karma. It'll make your life a lot easier. So let's talk about the love. And then I'm going to look and see if there are any questions. It looks like everybody's nodding their head pretty much in agreement. Um, and I don't see any questions. So let's talk about the love for a moment. If you are a person who reads the Bible, if you are a person who's inclined to read the Bible, I would like for you to look up in a Bible concordance or perhaps online where Jesus talks about the heart, the light, and love. And he talks about his yoke is light. Basically, a yoke was something they put around an ox to have him pull a cart. Well, we're all pulling an earthly body cart <laughs> with our soul. We're all pulling forward. And if you pull fear, doubt, depression, unrest, it's a hard way to live life, especially when you're gifted especially when you have abilities, especially when you came here with a mission. So even if you don't read the Bible, I would ask you to go and read what Jesus said about love, light, and heart. And read his message. Even if you don't believe that he existed, read the message. Because it talks about love without fear. It talks about being centered and balanced. It talks about the kingdom of God is within. And when you love yourself, being within is a lot easier. And once you seek that, you turn on the energy in your heart and you see things much differently and it becomes more easy to live day-to-day -day life and to have joy and to have hope. I'm going to check now, see if there are any questions. I 
don't see any questions in the feed. So I, again, would like to invite you to apply for the Spiritual Awakening Academy. If you go to toolsofenergyprotection.com, there will be a link for an application that you can fill out and send in. If you would rather not fill the application out, I know some people would rather talk to me and ask me lots of questions. That is fine. I'll be more than happy to interview you by phone. So you can go to the website, click about, get the email address, or if you're in Facebook, send me a private message. And tell me that you'd like to talk and what some good times are for you. And then I will personally speak with you about the academy and if it's a good fit for you and you can ask me questions. So that's it for today, November the 30th, 2021. And the desired outcome is that you learn something tonight and that you learn that there's free loving energy available and especially now, especially with the five Hertz being so freely put into the universe to restore and refresh each and every one of us. So I'll see you here next Tuesday night for Tuesday Night Live. This has been Deanna Gloyd, the founder of the Spiritual Awakening Academy, the training division of toolsofenergyprotection.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful night.